In this video, we're going to do an invigorating Qigong flow. So we'll start off with some breathing exercises. One of the breaths we'll do is called the fire breath. So now if you have uncontrolled high blood pressure, or you have breathing issues or lung impairments, you might want to skip that for now, or just check with your doctor first, make sure it's okay. You can continue just to do the abdominal breathing in place of that. But if you feel okay, you can follow along. We'll do about 10 breaths with the fire breath. Then we'll do some Qigong movements a little bit faster than usual so that we can stimulate the energy even more so we can feel energized and ready for the day. So we'll begin by first adjusting the posture. So standing with your feet shoulder width apart, knees slightly bent, pelvis, waist, and lower back softened, relaxed. And then from here, rise up through the crown of the head getting taller and then let go 5%. And then check back in with the shoulders Relaxing the shoulders, softening the forehead and the jaw. Then you can place your hands on your lower abdomen. As you breathe in, the belly expands. As you breathe out, the belly returns towards the spine. Abdominal breathing. Breathing in and out, coming into the present moment, arriving in the body, letting go of all the worries from the day, coming into the here and now. And then on the next inhale, you can hold the breath at the top of the inhale just for a moment and let it out with a big sigh. <sighs> then from here, we'll move on to the fire breath. So this one, you can either join in or you can just continue with abdominal breathing until you feel comfortable. So the fire breath, we actually do a forceful exhale through the nose. And then when we do that, the belly contracts. And then we do a passive inhale, the belly expands. Okay, we'll do about one breath per second so you can follow along. So we'll begin. And then you can go back to your abdominal breathing, feeling into the body, just noticing how you feel. And then we'll do our chi massage. So we'll tap the body, stimulating all the energy pathways in the body. And so in Chinese medicine, we have what's called meridians. It's like rivers where the energy flows. All right, so we'll start with the chest. So begin to tap on your chest, all right? Right on the chest, it helps to stimulate energy to the heart and lungs, and it boosts our immune system. And so we have our thymus gland, which is right behind our ribcage. And so this can really help with boosting our immunity. All right, and then from here, hold one arm out, and we'll come onto the shoulder, palm faces up, and then tap down the inside of the arm, and then turn the palm face down, and then come up the back of the arm. We'll do that again, palm faces up, turn the palm over, palm faces down, and then we'll go back to our chest. All right, and then coming one hand, the other side, palm faces up, then stimulating, tapping down the inside of the arm, the palm turns down and coming up the outside of the arm. We'll do that again, down the inside, and then up the back. Back to the chest, and then down to the abdomen, stimulating energy, what's called the lower dantian, the reservoir of energy. All right, then we'll go down to the hips, and then the lower back. So I'll turn around so you can see. And so we'll start to tap the lower back. You can use loose fists, or you can use your hands, or you can just do the sides. All right, and then we'll start to go down the backs of the legs. All right, I'll show you from the side. And so you can keep your knees slightly bent as you come down towards the feet. Just come down as much as you can, that feels comfortable, and then come up the inside front of the legs. All right, we'll do that again. So down the backs of the legs to the outside and then the inside fronts of the legs here. And then back to the lower abdomen, ah, back to the chest. And then you can just come back to stillness and feel your body. You might even notice a tingling or buzzing, that's the energy. Feeling invigorated, stimulating the energy, blood flow for healing as well. Then begin to turn from the waist and the hips, letting the hands gently knock against the lower abdomen and the lower back. It's called knocking on the door of life. Right, you, can let the back, you can let the feet come up too, if that feels okay. 
And when you turn, you can let the back heel come up, and sometimes that's a little bit easier on the knees. So the door of life is an acupressure point in the lower back, and it's thought that when we stimulate this point, it actually stimulates the energy throughout the whole body. It also is a nice warm up, lubricating the joints of the spine. <sighs> Breathing. All right, then we'll start to slow it down, coming back to center, and then we'll do a movement called the pump. So this is another one that can really help to stimulate the energy. So we'll start off with the hands up, and then as the hands come down, we bend the knees, and then as the hands come behind, we straighten. Then bend the knees as the hands come forward, and then straighten as the hands come up. All right, so bend the knees and then straighten, bend the knees and then come up. Then we can pick up the speed with this one. Breathing in, breathing out. So using the breath can really help to assist in stimulating the energy, increasing oxygen to all of the cells of our body. So doing the pump. All right, and then we'll slow it down. Coming back to center. And then from here, the hands rise up towards shoulder height, nice and easy. We'll slow it down a little bit. And then hands float down, the knees and hips soften. All this opening the door, breathing in and breathing out. Being with the breath, or you can just breathe normal. We learn to move like nature, effortless ease. One more time, opening the door. And this time, the hands circle in front, making two loose fists. The forearms come towards each other as you round the back. And then reverse direction, the arms come out to the sides as you open the shoulders and chest. And round the back as you breathe out. And breathe in as you open, spinal cord breathing. This also helps to stimulate the energy along the spine and loosens the joints as well. Breathing in, open like a good morning stretch. Breathing out. All right, one more time. And then as you exhale, the arms float out to the sides, the palms face up as they rise up the midline, turning at the heart, pressing up overhead, and then the arms float out and down, holding up the sky. Breathing in, the arms float up. Breathing out, floating down, really feeling all the sensations that you can, bringing mindfulness to your body. All right, one more time, holding up the sky. And then this time, stay with me here. The fingertips point up, the backs of the hands face each other as we float up the midline, then the hands spiral out and away from each other. We call this one silk reeling. The hands float up, and then they spiral out and away. Energy loves the spiraling motion. Also helps to stimulate and circulate the energy and blood flow throughout the whole body. We call this the silk reeling. All right, one more time. This time, the palms face up again. They float up to the heart, and then one hand pushes up, the other pushes down. You can do a side bend if you like, too or you can keep the spine neutral. The hands spiral back to the heart, and we'll do the other side. Connecting above and below. Breathing in, <sighs> breathing out. Beautiful, all right, one more time. All right, this time the bottom hand comes up and then pushes right to the corner, the other hand in the opposite direction. And coming back to center, we'll go to the other corner. The dragon spreads its wings. This time you can turn to the side if you want, letting the back heel come up, rotating. One more time, the dragon spreads its wings. This time the hands come right out in front as you hug the big tree, spreading the feet a little bit wider apart, breathing in open, breathing out the fingertips drift towards each other and the fingertips dip down and towards the earth. The hands come out forward, rising up overhead, coming right down the center line of the body, digging in the garden. And don't worry about how low you go, just meeting yourself where you're at. You can always go forward from there. Digging in the garden one more time, breathing in, <sighs> breathing out. And then we'll reverse direction. The hands come up the midline of the body, the fingertips point up towards the sky, 
The hands float out and down as we harvest from the garden, enjoying the fruits of our labor. <sighs> breathing in, breathing out. Beautiful. All right, this time, round out the arms and hug the tree right out in front. Breathing in, open. As you breathe out, this hand scoops under as we catch the moon, melting down. And then pivot on the heel, pointing the toes to the side, and then we'll orbit the moon around the earth. Circling it around, stirring the chi, the life force energy, the source of our power and vitality. And then reverse direction, circling around the other way, orbiting the earth. It's like you're carrying something precious, feeling the sensation. One more time. And then hug the big tree, bring it back to center, pivot on the heel, the arms open up wide. Then this hand scoops under, brace the moon, pivot on the heel to the other side, pointing the toes to the side, and then the moon orbits the earth once again. Circling around, stirring the chi, and it circulate throughout the whole body and mind. And then reverse direction, whichever way you were going, just go the other way. Circling around. All right, one more time, and then hug the tree, bring it back to center, pivot on the heel, and then you can step the feet a little bit closer. And as you breathe in, the arms open, the breathing out, the fingertips drift towards each other, the hands float down. And then as you breathe in, the arms float up. They circle in front as if you're gathering an energy right into the heart, send it back down towards the earth, sinking the chi. Then gather. Breathing out, directing back down. One more time, sink the chi. <sighs> and from here, you can place your hands in your lower abdomen, just taking a moment to see how you feel. And if you want, you can step your feet together and we can finish with a bow. So I hope you enjoyed that invigorating Qigong flow. So I use a lot of those movements whenever I feel really low on energy or I just need a boost. In fact, I attribute a lot of my success and my ability to get through physical therapy school to a lot of those movements. All right, now if you noticed any back pain, if you have any back pain in general, or if you wanna learn how to keep your lower back healthy and strong to prevent issues in the future, then make sure you watch the next video in the series Tai Chi for low back pain. Just click on the link right here and I'll see you over there.